Welcome to Forensics Detectors. Today we are presenting our super low-level carbon monoxide detector with 0.1 ppm resolution and a range from 0 to 100 parts per million. Perfect for assessing indoor air quality at the low levels of carbon monoxide and perfect for assessing compressed gas cylinders for applications such as scuba diving folks. Now, this little guy has a electrochemical sensor within it. It is rated at IP67, which it means it's shockproof and waterproof. And it has, ultimately, the best feature is it's 0.1 ppm resolution to carbon monoxide. Very, very few carbon monoxide detectors and meters and analyzers on the market have that performance. There's the front view, there's the side view, and there is the back view with the back label. You can see the little screw there, and that's used to attach our stainless steel alligator clip that the unit comes with. It all comes together as a package. On the side over here, you can see that white hull. It's a hydrophobic mesh over the sensor to protect it for waterproof applications. We have this nice plastic calibration clip. It attaches nicely over the hull with a barb, so it's perfect for calibration purposes. You could attach your tube onto the barb, bang, and you could undertake calibration or you could undertake an inline test for research and development purposes. Now, for scuba application and diving to test your compressed gas, the nice thing is our package comes with a rubber dome. It fits perfectly over the barb and you're set good to go to test your compressed gas, your scuba gas, folks. Very, very nice indeed. So there's the setup with the dome, and that's how we basically all attaches and comes together. Dr. Koz, let's give it a little test. Not a problem at all. I have low-level carbon monoxide in my reference gas over here. I'm just gonna attach it onto the barb, and we're gonna expose it for a few seconds to carbon monoxide, so you get a feel, you get a sort of sense of its sensitivity and responsivity. There you go, folks. I'm just going to expose it to about uh, about five seconds of carbon monoxide. You could see now the numbers going up, and I'm going to take that off. So when I do take it off, fresh air will inundate the adjacent front of the sensor. It will dilute the carbon monoxide molecules, and you're going to see the numbers now going down. Quite nice indeed, and you get an understanding of the responsivity of the carbon monoxide low-level sensor, folks. And we're talking low level here, folks. Three parts per million, as you can see, down to one, down to two. Very, very low levels of carbon monoxide. Very, very low levels. And there's not many, actually, carbon monoxide meters that have a minimum detection limit of one or two or three ppm. They usually start about three or four ppm. This guy starts at 0.1 ppm. So you get an understanding of how much advanced, how much of a leap in sensitivity and performance this guy is, especially for scuba diving and very, very precarious applications where you want to make sure you're detecting small amounts of carbon monoxide. Now, let me talk about scuba diving applications. Divers, Alert Network mentions 5 ppm as the threshold for carbon monoxide. Compressed Gas Association has 10 parts per million. But in my personal view, you want to make sure you have zero parts per million, folks. Now, we all know carbon monoxide is lethal. It's one of the most poisonous gases on the planet. And especially when you're scuba diving, you're going to be in a precarious situation, breathing precarious amounts of carbon monoxide. So you have two dangerous things occurring at the same time. So you really want to make sure, if at all possible, to dive with zero parts per million of carbon monoxide in your compressed gas cylinder when you're scuba diving, folks. That's Dr. Kaiser's professional opinion. Now... What exactly comes with the low-level carbon monoxide detector? It comes in a nice box, just like so. You get your low-level detector, and within it is a lithium 9-volt battery, folks. It should last over a year, and the sensor will last up to three years. Now, obviously, the power the battery expels to the unit depends on the demands, depends on the backlight, depends how many times it's alarmed, et cetera, et cetera. The more you use it, the more it's alarming, the shorter the lifetime of the battery. Now, you also get, as I mentioned, your stainless steel alligator clip to pop on your man, pop on your belt. You get some tubing to perform some type of testing or calibration as you need it. It's always nice to have a little bit of tubing in the package. You get your rubber dome for scuba compressed gas cylinder testing, and you get your very nice user manual. It's right over here. You also get a certificate of calibration from 
forensics detectors telling you that we calibrated the unit here to low level NIST traceable reference gas and it's dated and signed by the engineer that tested your unit folks. Everything comes together so you could be assured you will be taken care of and if there's any problems you could email us or return the unit within 30 days and also the unit comes with a one year warranty. I hope that all makes sense till then be well be safe and see you soon.